everybody welcome to my channel um, yes I'm showing my face for the first time <laughs> um, I was told it would help you identify with me better so I'm, I'm doing it this way uh, this is going to be for Gemini Sun Moon Rising so since we're in Gemini season happy birthday and let's get into the read one more shuffle. Ah, come on now. It's not it's not cooperating. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Alright. This is going to be for Gemini. Sun Moon Rising. Okay. First card out to general energy. Let's see where you're at right now. Whoa, not like that. That one jumped out. Ooh, we got the world card. So there's endings and beginnings happening for Gemini right now. Let's see if we can elaborate on that a little bit. Okay, you're at victory. Sitting on something an idea, possible pregnancy. The Empress represents a lot of several different things but since it's a victory and you got the world card then it's a beginning and possibly a pregnancy or something that you're birthing into the world and you're going to be victorious at it. General energy of the month will be oh Gemini, you're jumping all over the place here. Let's try that again. Too many cards. Okay. Oh, standing true to your integrity. Nine of Wands. So, whatever this is that you're creating that's coming into the world, you're standing true to it. You're backing it 100%. Okay, now we got what's going to change. Mm, the Sword of Truth. So, Page of Swords, this is a message about the truth. Whatever that means for you, whatever question you're asking, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Um, I'll clarify that. But it's some sort of about money. So there's some kind of, forgive the uh, sirens, but we are in Hollywood. Um, so this, this truth is going to be about money. Nice. Um, what's going to be the challenge? Money. <laughs> it looks like you're going to have to master this. Whatever, whatever's coming in for you, Gemini, you're going to have to master it. Because the ten is, is, is the end of something. So that would be the end of your money problems. So, and this, this is spirit offering you a gift. So, between the, what's going to change in your challenge... You got it going on. <laughs> okay. And this would be the love life. Oh, wow. Wheel of Fortune. Which usually means it's going to spin in your favor. Because Jupiter is still in retrograde. And this is Jupiter's magic wand. So, it could be either or. I mean, in your love life. If, if you're interested in starting something new, then great. It's probably going to work out in your favor. If you're not even interested then it might just pop up on you anyway. <laughs> okay. And then we got money and career, which we've already kind of established that. Okay, we got the magician and the ten of swords. So, as scary as this card looks, it's not that scary. It's the end of, uh, the end of this energy. It's 
uh, the backstabbing, the lying, whatever it is that you've been dealing with, uh, this is coming to an end. And that's what the Ten of Swords is. And as far as your money and career, you're the magician. You have all the tools you need to succeed in anything that you try. So that's your money and career. Whoa, then we had everything jump out. We got the end of the month, which is temperance, patience, balance, and feeling defensive. So all, of the, all this that you've created uh, through the month of June, at the end of the month you're going to have to do things in moderation. This is temperance. This is Sagittarius and Jupiter is in Sagittarius. Um, you do things in moderation and, and, and balance and you'll be just fine. And it won't feel like you have to defend yourself. That's seven of wands. So this is the self-defense card where, you know, you feel like everybody's crowding in on you, but it's really not. It's kind of like you're just doing things the way that you need to do them. Okay? Because this is a great spread. And you're all around energy is that you're in your own head and you need to come out of this. This is the Nine of Swords. This is like being all up in your head and thinking the worst of everything when this spread says quite the opposite. So that's your general read. And I'll pull some advice cards from the Angel Oracles and the Romance Angels. Take a look into your love life. And we'll give you some advice, and then we'll do the Hidden Realms. And then that'll be a read. Oh, how did that jump in there? Hmm, waiting on your ships to come in. <laughs> kind of goes along with the money thing. I don't know how that popped in there. Magic. Okay. This is the Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay. And then we have steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. And then we have fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. So it's telling you to take a break because you're making steady progress. Good messages. On the bottom you got daydream, and we all know what that is. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look into your love life. The Romance Angels. Oh, we ended up with more cards here, too. Oh, my goodness. This is telling you to play and to do what you desire. So, one says, you, know, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that, they are ready, that you are ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life by, as if by magic. Wow. These cards are just freaking out on me here. Beloved one, it is time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry, we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you can return to work with a new perspective and heightened energy. 
Okay. Ah, they all got mixed up, but I read them. It all kind of goes with the read, though. You've got the Wheel of Fortune here. you got the World here. The Empress. All those pentacles. The Magician. Wow. I don't know what you got going on, Gemini, but it must be something. One more shuffle. Okay, I'll pick that up in a minute. These are the romance angels. Okay, let's see what your left life's got to say. Oh, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Let's see what else it says. There's another one. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Ooh la la. There must be somebody. And there goes another one. <laughs> I don't know how Geminis are with this, but I know how I am with this. Let go of control issues. <laughs> <laughs> Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So, whatever your question is, it's telling you not to try to control it. You're making steady progress. Your pentacles are coming in. You got victory. The Wheel of Fortune is spinning. You are the master of your own domain. And you just have to be patient and do things in balanced and moderation. And there will be no need for this. And you get to play. Alright? Let me put that over there. Pull a couple of advice cards from the Hidden Realms and that'll be your read, Gemini. It's a great read. Well, I think last month was good for you too. These are huge cards. Now when these come out, when they're upright, they're an ally. When they're in reverse, they're a challenge. But I have to read them out of the book because they all have really special meanings, so. <laughs> okay, this is for Gemini, so moon rising. Okay, we got the altar priestess, preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual, upright. Guy is garden in reverse. Fruition, abundance, reaping what you've sown. Pull one more. And the horse king upright. Alright. Grab the book. The altar priestess. can't find these. I really can't find it. Hold on a second. <laughs> wow. Okay. The altar. There it is. All right. 
The stage is set. The world is waiting for you to take your place in sacred meditation and prayer. As your ally, the altar priestess brings the ritual of reverent interaction with the mundane world. You're being required now to see everything as sacred. All of life is a meditation, and every action is a prayer of devotion. When you're able to perceive the world in this way, your questions will lead you to the, pro to the appropriate answer. If all is sacred, how can anything be wrong? Ask, you, ask how you can shift your consciousness to see your circumstances through the eyes of the divine and you will realize how perfect and sacred everything is right now. Pretty good message. Guy's garden. Alright. Page two. Okay. And as a challenger, which means it's in reverse, when Gaia appears as a challenger in her garden, she gently points out that you've forgotten to give back to the world, or perhaps you've become lazy, expecting fruit to fall from the tree while you, see, while you rest below its leaves. Gardens require tending, water, and food for the soil. Everything you have within you is needed in the world, so don't underestimate the power of what you have to offer. Timely effort is called for when, when Gaia challenges you to help her in her garden. So ask not what you will get, but what you can give. You'll be pleasantly surprised by this change of perception. Be careful not to procrastinate too much, or the window of your current opportunity might close. Yet even if you do miss this one, as long as you're willing to help in the garden, you will most certainly see another. It's a good card. Then we got the Horse King. All the way in the back. Okay. And that's assistance and control. The Horse King always comes to lend you the power to go the distance, forging ahead whatever the weather. You will most certainly reach the perfect destination with this noble ally. He lets you know that some person or circumstances brought through synchronicity will certainly appear to help you with your endeavors. You aren't meant to go this part of the journey alone. This is also an important time to delegate authority to others so that they may assist you. Currently, your magnetic, your magnetic to powerful people who are in a position to help make your dreams come true. The Horse King asks that you remain open to those who are sent to aid you. You can be assured that you will be lifted up and ride high in victory. So wow, that and that went with the whole read. There's the victory card right there for the general, general energy. So yeah, I mean that came out great Gemini. Like I said, your last month was really good too, so I'm hoping this finds you all really well, and then I hope you enjoyed that read. Till uh, next month, take care. Bye.